So, let me ask you this. Is console gaming more enjoyable on a monitor? Yes, they are. They're perfect. Gaming monitors have the following advantages over traditional TV sets. Increased refresh rates, faster response times, greater pixel density, G-Sync or FreeSync refresh rates are variable, there is no screen tearing, and reduced input latency. Given the recent surge in popularity of online streaming on Twitch and YouTube, the market for gaming monitors is saturated. We consulted the best gaming monitor Reddit threads and other popular online gaming forums in addition to testing dozens of monitors ourselves. We chose six gaming monitors after careful consideration and put them through a variety of tests. You're welcome. On our Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, we tested each monitor's variable refresh rate with cross-platform games like Call of Duty, Warzone, Doom, Eternal, and of course everyone's favorite, Fortnite. The test included detecting potential screen tearing, image flickering, ghosting, and motion judder caused by uneven frame pacing. Because everyone's gaming needs differ, this list includes seven console gaming monitors based on buyers' needs and interests. First on our list, and probably the best one too, is the Alienware 34AW3423DW QD OLED. Holy moly! The first QD OLED monitor is the Dell Alienware. QD OLED is a new technology that combines the strengths of OLED and quantum dot displays to produce perfect black levels with a wider range of colors that become brighter when compared to standard OLED displays. For reference, the Samsung S95B employs the same technology. It's an ultra-wide gaming monitor that supports G-Sync variable refresh rate and FreeSync, although OLEDs are susceptible to permanent burn-in when subjected to the same static elements over time. The monitor includes a few settings to mitigate the problem, and Dell also provides a three-year replacement warranty against burn-in. Second is the AOC 24G2 and 24G2U, a great budget-friendly gaming monitor. If you have a budget of around $200, a high refresh rate monitor with a decent IPS panel is within reach, and we believe it could be a top gaming monitor for many people. Enter the AOC 24G2 and its close relative, the AOC 24G2U. Both models are 24-inch monitors with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 also known as 1080p. The only distinction between the two models is that the 24G2U includes a USB hub. They have a seriously zappy 1 millisecond pixel response, variable refresh rate support, and a low input lag mode. And they run at a full 144Hz, which we confirmed in testing. That is, of course, a much lower resolution than a 4K panel with only one quarter the number of pixels. However, Fewer pixels mean more frames and lower latency, which could give you a decisive advantage in your favorite battle royale or team-based shooter such as Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Warzone, Battlefield 5, or Overwatch. HDR capability of any kind is an obvious omission for us. However, in our experience, very few monitors deliver a true HDR experience, so at the very least, AOC does not tease you with the promise of HDR only to let you down. Furthermore, with slim bezels and height and tilt adjustment, this panel does not feel or look cheap. Third on our list is the Samsung Odyssey, Neo G8, S32, BG85. Jeez Louise, you think we were going to defuse a bomb or something? The Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 is the consumer market's first 4K, 240Hz monitor. It has a 1000R curve and is available alongside the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7, a similar monitor with a 165Hz refresh rate. While both monitors have many similarities, the G8 has a few extra advantages, such as a different screen coding. If you want to play 4K games at high frame rates from a compatible PC or gaming console, it comes with a slew of gaming features like FreeSync variable refresh rate support and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. It also has mini-LED backlighting which gives you more control over the local dimming zones than most monitors. The Neo G8 has a fast refresh rate of 240Hz and variable refresh rate support to reduce screen tearing. It has low input lag for a responsive feel, and its quick response time makes motion look smooth. Unfortunately, there are firmware issues, particularly with gaming, such as scan lines and flicker at low frame rates exist. Number 4. The ever-popular Gigabyte M32U the Gigabyte M32U is a 31.5-inch 4K, 
144 Hz IPS monitor with a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, 140 ppi, and a 1 millisecond response time. The monitor also has 10 bit colors, a peak brightness of 350 nits, and HDR 400 support. A single DisplayPort 1.4 connector supports 4K at 144 Hz connectivity. The other two, HDMI 2.1 ports, only support 4K at 120 Hz. There are also three USB 3.0 ports on the monitor. With significant color accuracy and factory calibration, the Gigabyte M32U is one of the best gaming monitors currently available. Furthermore, both the standard and high dynamic range color gamuts are excellent. Finally, the monitor handled the gradients flawlessly, with no banding. The gaming performance is also nothing to sneeze at. FreeSync worked as expected, with no flickering, juddering, or screen tearing. Image ghosting and input lag were also minimal at 120 Hz, thanks to a 1 millisecond response time. Unfortunately, the 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, while adequate on paper, was underwhelming. The darks had a grayish cast to them, and the IPS panel struggled with saturated colors. Nonetheless, you can't go wrong with the M32U, especially if you intend to play PlayStation 5 games. That's a, that's a great choice. You want me to support it? Next up, we have the Asus Tough Gaming VG27AQ. The Asus Tough VG27AQ is not a flashy addition to our best gaming monitor list, but it is brimming with quality. It may appear unassuming, but it packs a punch and provides an incredibly fast monitor for gaming. It has a 165 Hz refresh rate with adaptive sync support, a 1 millisecond response rate, and is G-Sync and FreeSync compatible. When you combine this with Asus's own extreme low-motion blur sync technology, the in-game images on this monitor are some of the smoothest and best you can get on a 1440p monitor. When we tested the monitor, the image quality was also very good. It's not just about the speed. Add in an HDR10 high dynamic range rating for color and brightness levels, and you have some of the best images we've seen on a 1440p display. The VG27AQ does an excellent job of balancing overall picture quality, speed, and most importantly, price. It's a fantastic all-purpose monitor that we believe will be useful for both PC and console gaming. However, keep in mind that the 1440p resolution will not be natively supported by any PlayStation console. Gigabyte takes the next spot with the Gigabyte Aorus FO48U OLED. The Gigabyte monitor has a 48-inch OLED panel. It has wide viewing angles and, like all OLED displays, delivers deep inky blacks with no blooming around bright objects. It's very similar to the LG 48C1 OLED, but with more traditional monitor connectivity options, including a DisplayPort connection, a built-in USB hub, and even a keyboard video mouse switch. It has a near-instantaneous response time, resulting in crystal-clear motion behind fast-moving objects, as well as low input lag and variable refresh rate support for FreeSync and G-Sync. Unfortunately, it isn't very bright, and the automatic static brightness limiter causes some issues with desktop use by dimming the screen after a few minutes of relative inactivity. When typing or reading a web page with a lot of text, the screen doesn't change enough to trigger the timer. Permanent burn-in is a risk with all OLEDs, but there are steps you can take to reduce the likelihood of this happening. The Gigabyte Gaming Monitor is fantastic. The OLED panel responds almost instantly, resulting in crystal clear motion with no blur behind fast moving objects. It also has very little input lag and supports both FreeSync and G-Sync compatible VRR. It has a high refresh rate and a large high resolution screen that provides an immersive gaming experience. It also has excellent reflection handling and viewing angles, making it an excellent choice for co-op gaming even in brighter environments. And finally, Probably the best all-rounder on the list is the ViewSonic Elite XG320U. Gamers with deep pockets will struggle to find a better console gaming monitor than ViewSonic's Elite XG320U, which has a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio and a peak brightness of 600 nits. The basic specifications include a 4K, 144Hz IPS display and a 31.9-inch screen with a pixel density of 137 ppi. The HDR 600 support, in addition to the previously mentioned 600 nits peak brightness and 178 degree viewing angles, is just one of the many impressive features of this monitor. 
the ViewSonic Elite XG320U has a 10-bit color depth and quick connectivity thanks to three display inputs on the back, HDMI 2.0, HDMI 2.1, and DisplayPort 1.2. Furthermore, a FreeSync Premium Pro feature ensures a lightning-fast response time of one millisecond. The color gamut on the monitor is wide. During the testing phase, the colors were spot on with no oversaturation. The HDR performance was flawless with significant black levels, white luminescence, and sequential contrast. The gaming performance was also flawless with low input latency, excellent viewing angles, and no screen tearing or juddering. Unfortunately, the contrast ratio of the XG320U is slightly above average. Although not a deal breaker, given the price, a wider dynamic range is reasonable. Overall, the ViewSonic Elite XG320U is an excellent monitor, with the only drawbacks being the low contrast ratio and high price. Our comparison and analysis of the best console gaming displays currently on the market has come to an end. As you have just seen, every monitor has a unique set of benefits and drawbacks, and it satisfies a different category of demands and necessities. Now it is up to you to determine which option is most suitable for you. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. You're awesome.